Fellas, friends, I am once again live on the ADV OU ladder. Uh, give me one second here. I did win another one off screen, but it was super hacksy, so I'm not sure if there was any point in uploading that. I don't think so. Let me quickly check something before we start. Celebi lead. So in this case, I probably just want to crunch. It's a Suicune, and that's a very, very bad matchup for me. Seems like a bulky Kun too. Yeah, would make sense at least. For now, I just gotta go Bliss, right? Since it's bulky, it's probably not sub. Let's see if he rests early. He doesn't. So rest has gotta come here. There it is. I roll early just in case it's sleep talk. It is. Okay. We dodge the surf for the first turn. That's good. Sleep talk is really rough for this team and I need spikes for that. I'm wondering if there's a mag, perhaps. Hmm. I want to play a bit conservatively here and see if there is a mag. And there is, in fact, yes. Okay. This is going to be really, really tough. If it's actually mag doll. Should I try and predict the Suicune here? The Suicune is still at zero turns of sleep. And Surf would kill me. Okay, I got it. Ah, seems like it is the three hit KO yet. It's got a little bit more bulk than this, I suppose. A little bit more spadef. We could try and dodge some serves here. I mean, would he just want to burn sleep turns? If he does not burn sleep turn and he just goes for sleep talk here, I could force him out with Gengar. Perhaps at least. Let's see. If he switches here, he doesn't. Okay. He burned one sleep turn. So does he intend to switch now? Because if he does, he's quite low. I'm guessing I'll just T-Volt again. Ah, he rested. Fair. For now, I'm still forcing him to go for more, right? Oh, this blows. Oh, he actually did that, wow. I'm thinking he'll probably just um, rest early here, right? Yes, there it is. Yep, and he did not go mag. He wanted the sleep talk turns. Does not burn any turns here. All right, that's good. As long as Mac doesn't come in. Okay, got lucky there. I'm assuming this is curse. So let's just see if he goes Magneton here. 
He has Shadow Ball, so that's good. Could just break break for now if Kuhn comes in. Have to force it out. Ooh. That's tough. No para for him here. There's the Kuhn. And let's see if he switches out here. He doesn't. So the question is, do I do I taunt the rest or not? I haven't revealed taunt yet, so I think I want to do it. Unless, unless, okay. Here's a little bit more book than this. And um, a defensive Gengar. I would be able to probably deal enough damage for him to die plus spikes. Okay, I'll taunt here. Okay, we got the. Why did he do. Hmm. Why did he do that? <laughs> no, I'm very confused. Okay, I guess, yeah, I just try and get the kill here. Charizard seems pretty safe. And Suicune is dead. Oh, oh my god. He miscounted turns. It's very good for me. Alright, so... See, this could still very well be utility lags because you revealed Shadow Ball. Let's cut the ranges. I haven't done that yet. Utility lags. My brick break did 40. Ah, uh, okay. Which doesn't really add up for either standard threats, but... Okay. He just goes for body slam again and I dodge another para. Great. That's some decent luck. Although the sleep talk turns were rough. <laughs> and he hasn't revealed a great switch in into Tower apart from Kuhn while spikes were up. So Tower seems like a pretty big threat. Yeah, I, I could still crunch that obviously. Ah, uh, he gets the crit, though. Uh, I definitely want to keep this healthy for Lax. I, I mean, I wanted to, but it's not possible anymore. Um, is this on a crit? That would add up for a crit. I don't think he's offensive, right? No, he's never offensive, so Zard should be quite safe. Yes. Now we could just blast something. Still expecting a doll in the back. Perhaps a Heracross too, I don't, but I don't know about that. Because uh, it doesn't seem like there's weather reset yet, unless it's on the Magneton. See, this is weird because he's switching this in as if it lives, which kind of makes me think it's thick fat. Uh, and, you know, like some people would run that on the ladder. <laughs> some people would be. Maybe he does live. Let me calculate. If his utility lags, he does not live unless he's thick fat. 
And my Zat is super, super important. So let me sag Tari and then go gone, I guess. Ah! There is a rest. So he is Curse Lax. Which is weird with Shadow Ball, but fine. I don't mind that. My Tyranita gets health back and I threaten something again. Still doesn't seem to have a great switch into it. Could it be Rest Talk too? Like the super rare Rest Talk Snorlax? Because it's Body Slam. Wheezing. Ah. Ah, so why did you not switch that in earlier? <laughs> okay. So I should definitely keep this healthy now. Hmm. Is it just switch Zardin on the Wisp? I was fearing T-Bolt, but that worked out. I wonder if T-Bolt actually puts me in Blaze somehow. Would be epic. Oh no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doubling here. I'm in a good enough position to not have to predict here. Okay, and that's the end. I won another one. Great. Oh, got kinda lucky on the Coon. My opponent messed up on the Rest Talk turns. Or sleep talk turns, rather. Always, always remember they um, reset whenever you switch out. I was, yeah, I was very confused there because um, because he rested, uh, or rather didn't sleep talk on one of those other turns. Uh, I figured he'd know about the mechanic, and maybe he does, but just miscounted. Happens. <laughs> but yeah, that... Uh, that secured the win. I think I still had a chance. Otherwise. But it, it definitely was tough. Like between predicting rest and surf there. Ooh. I'm not sure if I made the right call. This is such a tough matchup. Magneton plus Kuhn. Like rest talk Kuhn just absolutely wrecks this. Because my last is Flygon. Would be much, much better if I had a Zapdos here. And my defensive Gengar doesn't deal that much damage. My Blissey and my Tita get walled. And my Skarm is uh, obviously threatened by uh, Restog Surfs. After Call Mines, my Flygon doesn't do anything. And my Skarm can get magged. But luckily, luckily, I, I realized soon enough what this kind of team would be. After Celebi and Suicune had been revealed. The wheezing was was a surprise though, but yeah. Okay, GG, let's see if that actually puts me at 60 and 73 on the ladder, because sometimes the battle lies. <laughs> the ladder doesn't though. Yep, 1673, top four now. Oh, I'm so close to number one. I'm not sure if I can do that at all, but I've never been this close. It would be it would be very very nice. Okay. Now now I'm now I'm <laughs> way too scared of the next few matches, but maybe maybe I'll record them too if they're nice. Have a good one, y'all. Yeah.